Hello everyone and welcome to my digital scrapbooking tutorial on Photoshop CS4. This is part two of a two-part uh, tutorial. And my name is Sue from easy to scrapbook.blogspot.com. This uh, tutorial is designed for beginners and it really assumes no knowledge of Photoshop beyond knowing how to open the program. Uh, so what I'm going to do to start with is just turn off the titles that I made to get the for the video. So I'm going to do that now. Just going to the layers, just turning those off. And what I'm going to do is turn on the layers that will show you what the final what the final layout will look like. So there we are. So I'm adding some some text and and a small embellishment down the bottom. So I'm going to get turn those off now. And we're going to get started on creating our layout. Now this layout is already uh, finished. This is where we were at when we finished part one. So I'm picking up completely from where we finished off at the end of the last video tutorial. And I'm going to um, create some text. So the first thing we need to go is go to our T tool on the toolbar and right click the horizontal. Now I'm just going to quickly change that back to black. So that's black, that's where we you would start with, that's the default colour for um, for Photoshop. So just click somewhere in there and I'm just going to type Alice. And just click on this check mark here in the top right hand corner. And now click on the move tool and just move the title into uh, the right space. Now back to the text tool. I just want to let you know here I'm using Porky's at a 72 point font. Which I think is about right. Now I'm going to um, change the font. To Pussycat, and I'm going to come down here and type Life is a Beach. It's just a little bit of a. So I just got slightly different uh, font for the uh, for the bottom part of this, which I think just adds a little bit more uh, interest. I think um, looking at Alice, that looks a little bit uh, not quite in the centre, so we might just centre that a bit more. And we might just bring, so just bring that down a little bit. Okay, then we go back to text tool here and move that. And on this layer, we're just going to bring that down a little bit. Okay, now. We're going to go to uh, back to our text tool, and this time we're going to um, select, right click again, and select the vertical type tool. And then we're going to do the year, and I'm going to have that going down on a vertical. So I'm just going to type 2009, and I actually think that looks a little bit better back in Porky's, so I'm going to change that back to Porky's and just drop down that point size to 48 and that looks about right, doesn't it? Okay, so now just click the checkbox and that just commits that change. So there we have got some journaling, so we've got um, Life is a Beach in 72 point and Alice in 72 point. I quite like Alice in... Um, somehow change that back to, it has taken that off Porky's hasn't it, so we might just go back onto that click on that, we better get to Alice again Alice and just highlight that and just change that back to Porky's I didn't notice that that had happened but okay so now we're right, we're just commit that change and just go on the move tool in that but just be on the watch out because sometimes when you click you don't notice the things change. So now we've got all this 
all this titling and it's all in black and not looking that interesting so we're going to just jazz it up a bit and the first thing we're going to do is take the eyedropper tool that's number five on the tool box here and I'm going to click once on that green stripe, that dark green stripe and you notice that the green has now been selected down here in the colours and I'm now going to um, click on the text tool again and I'm going to highlight the whole of life as a beach and I'm just going to click on that green and go OK and click the colour picker and it's completely OK, that's gone and now I'm going to do the same for 2009, just just the 2 and the 9 I think and go OK and come up that and then I'm going to go uh, for the L OK and for the C OK OK so now we've got those so now that's starting to look more interesting now we're going to take go back to the eyedropper tool again find a blank space where we can pick out this red colour and and now go back onto the text tool and just change that and we get that looking good and again looking good okay and come up those and then we can come down and just change these two here as well and okay so that's our journaling looking pretty good now I think uh, scrapbookers love embellishment so the next thing we need to do is just open up our kit and this uh, embellishment this little flower came as part of the kit a reminder that um, this is Jackie's kit and it's free for personal use um, I've undocked I've undocked this and now I'm remembered to move them go on to the move tool so I can slide it off close that and now I can bring that down so if you didn't see that um, make sure you watch part part one because I showed you a lot about how to slide how to undock and slide your images onto your layout so I'm just going to place that there and that's looking pretty good I think okay so that's now that's layer 10 so one of the things that's really important in scrapbooking just to digital scrapbooking just to make this um, so much easier for yourself is to make sure that you get in the habit of labeling so I just double clicked in here and, and now I've just typed flower for to label so if I ever want to come back and edit my scrapbooking layout I can know immediately what layer is what by naming it so that's a good habit to get into and last but not least is just going to um, save as now I'm saving that as life is a beach number three because I've already saved it I'm just going to save that and so and you'll get this message about format options just go OK it's fine and you'll be fine so that's our um, tutorial I hope you enjoyed it I hope you can um, follow it enough to create your own interesting digital scrapbooking layouts thank you so much for joining me and please do get along to easy to scrapbook.blogspot.com for more tutorials and scrapbooking resources thank you again once again why now?